Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be filming a product empties video where I show you my empty products and I give like a little review of them. This is quite concerning. There is a lot of products here. I think this is a year's worth of products and I still think that for a normal person who doesn't actually buy that many products like or do I? I don't know okay I don't think I buy that many but look how many is in this bag. Like that is not even funny, like this is not funny. I was gonna split this into two videos and I was gonna do one next month. I think I'm gonna have to split this into three videos. I've kept this for a year, it's taken up space in my cupboard for a year and I'm ready to get rid of it. So that's why I'm filming this video and I just wanna film these videos because I think when somebody's finished a product, they can really give like a true review. So I've done my little plan of this video and I'm gonna talk about whether I like the product or not rating it out of 10 and then would I repurchase it so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna try not to make this video too long there is also empty body shop products in here because I still keep those for when I film my body shop videos because I do still you know film quite a lot of those I do actually have a whole playlist on my channel of body shop videos so if you want to have a little flick through those that is on my channel just to let you know um but apart from that let's get into the video all I can see here is body shop products. What is going on? Oh, first of all, we have a candle. Let's start off with something cute. Um, this is a Cherry Bakewell scented candle. I think I got this from Pound Stretcher. It was only 49p, still had the price on it. We had a little burn situation here. But that smells super nice. Um, yeah, I liked this candle, nothing special. What I do like about this candle though is that it burned all the way to the bottom and it didn't do that thing where candles burn and half the candle is still at one side and the other half is burnt down, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? If you like candles, you'll know. Um, this doesn't do that and I liked that. So would I get this again? Yes, 49p, what a bargain. This I would rate a solid 8.5 out of 10. We have a shower gel, original source, sweet rhubarb and raspberry shower gel. This smelt really nice. I actually did really like this. It was a nice pinky colour and I just I just liked it particularly. You know, it's just a shower gel. It's just a casual shower gel. Nothing special, but I did like it. So would I repurchase this? Yes, it wasn't that expensive either. So again, another winner. This I would rate an 8 out of 10. Okay, now this wasn't included in my body shop video, I don't think. This is the Drops of Light Pure Clarifying Foam Wash. I actually liked this. It's more of a gentle facial wash than what I'm used to. I usually like to go for a little bit more powerful ones that are, you know, more deep cleaning. But I did actually quite like this. It also foamed up really nicely and it felt like my skin was getting a nice clean. So yeah, I do like this. And it is meant to target redness and to reduce redness. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then maybe give this one a little go or give that this whole range a little go i would rate this product an 8 out of 10 would i repurchase probably not but that doesn't mean that i don't like it okay this is some bath sherbets so in here there was like three or four packs of bath sherbets just to pop in the bath i actually really love the smell of this i don't know if there's like a brand or anything or if it is an actual brand but you know i think it was gifted um for christmas from last year or something like that and i've run out of it not really nice i have actually got my own bath salts now on my website so i'm just going to be using those if you want to check out my ebay or etsy please they are linked in the description if you're interested in anything um but yeah i liked this rating out of 10 a 6.5 would i repurchase it no here oh okay here we go we've got a negative review here boys this is the tea tree tingle shampoo that's what it says is tingle Oh God, doesn't sound good. Um, but yeah, this is a shampoo. This actually, I don't suffer from dry scalp or, you know, dandruff or anything like that. Like I don't have that issue. Apart from the only times I ever get dandruff is if I've used head and shoulders, if I've ever used head and shoulders in the past at someone's house or anything like that, I get dandruff from using head and shoulders, which is meant to get rid of dandruff so it just blows my mind that that happens um or when i use this i don't know if it's the tea tree or anything like that but i use tea tree as my skincare and i love it and it's absolutely fine but when it comes to things on my hair if it's got tea tree in it it's just not my best friend and i think it's too drying i think that's why it gives me dandruff because tea tree is meant to be drying hence why it dries out spots and things but when it comes to in a shampoo i just didn't like it so um 
rating out of 10 a one would i repurchase this no okay then we've got this this is the umberto giannini something i'm not sure i can't pronounce it um but this is a cocoa and rose hair mask and this was actually really nice and nourishing my friend steph got me this i think it was the year before last I think it was last year or last birthday or last Christmas, I can't remember. It has run out now and I actually use a hair mask once a week and I try and be consistent with that. If I write it in my weekly planner to do things like um, hair masks and things then they do get done. And yeah, it made my hair really soft. I currently have a different hair mask that I'm using and it isn't as good as this one. So I would recommend this. Don't know how much it costs or anything like that. But yeah, it says it's vegan and cruelty free, which is always good. So yeah, um, rating out of 10, I'd rate it a... 8.5 out of 10 would I buy this I don't know it depends how much it costs because I wouldn't splurge on a hair mask oh boy I'm trying to dig through the body shop products we have a problem oh this is what I'm currently using actually as well so I've run out of this one but I'm actually currently using this this is the CN but I think it's Lidl's own brand don't quote me on that but I got it from Lidl this is the ultimate volume conditioner and I have oh no I'm not using this I'm using the shampoo at the minute um I don't think I like the conditioner as much when it comes to volumizing conditioners they don't tend to be very nourishing or very thick because when you have volume in your hair you know you don't tend to have it um weighted down and a lot of like moisturizing kind of thicker conditioners can actually weight your hair down a little bit to make it shinier which is kind of nice um like what my hair is right now it's you know flat but when you want volume you know it tends to be a lighter consistency to conditioner so i didn't necessarily like this but i love the shampoo i really love the shampoo also slight tip i saw a while ago um, that somebody had recommended to um shampoo your hair twice and i was like what a waste of product but i actually started doing it you know just to see how it goes and my hair has lasted so much longer and it's not been as greasy and I love it and I'm not going to go back. I always do that now. I always shampoo twice. It makes such a difference. I would recommend. Um, but I would rate this probably a 6 out of 10. And would I repurchase? Possibly, but probably not. I have this from Lidl. This is the... Oh my god, I can't even read what it is. It was like a serum type thing. And it comes in this bottle. So if you actually see this in Lidl, then you will know that this is the product. I just don't know what this is called. I think it had hyaluronic acid in it and hyaluronic acid is super hydrating for the skin. I actually really liked this considering it's from Lidl and it's just part of their kind of like cheaper skincare range. I actually really liked this and it did make my skin more hydrated and softer. I really felt a difference using this and I actually think I am going to repurchase this and I would probably rate this a 9.5 out of 10. So if you're into skincare, I would recommend giving this a little go because this was actually really great. I liked it. And I forgot that I actually liked it as well. Oh my god, I cannot get through the body shop products. Somebody help. We also have a lot of makeup empties as well. I'm going to just go through a few more. I don't want this video to be too long. Oh, okay, we've got two of the same thing. Two of these are collection pressed powders. These are both empty. One's in the shade 18 Ivory and the other one's in the shade number two Tender Touch. This one's really dark. That is way too dark um, for my skin. That could be used as a bronzer for someone that's super pale. Um, it probably doesn't pick it up on the camera, but it is actually quite dark. And yeah, that would make me look really orange. So I don't know why I use that one. Um, but this one's definitely more my shade. Fun fact, I'm still using this now. I've probably got through about five of these. I'm not one of those people that splurges on powders. I don't, you know, spend loads of money on them and I don't get really expensive ones because this is good enough for me. It works, you know, my skin is oily skin, but it's not, you know, an oily mess right now because my powder's nice and it works and it's like a pound or something silly. So I would recommend. We then also have another product, which I still, actually, do I have this? I think I've got this. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I have this. Um, this is my third one that I've got through, or I'm using my third one that I've got through. I've repurchased it three times anyway. Um, so yeah, this is the Collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. Mine's in the shade number one terracotta. I really love this bronzer. It's very pigmented. It blends nicely onto the skin and it's a nice shade. It's a nice color for my skin. I'm wearing it on my skin today and it's just a cheap product. I'm here for the cheap products, especially when it comes to powders. If it's pigmented, if it's a nice color, I'm not going to splurge on anything more expensive because there's no point because this works why would i get anything else 
Oh, I also forgot to give these a rating out of 10. Um, I would rate these powders a 10 out of 10. And would I repurchase the proof is in the pudding? I've repurchased this five times, so yes. And as for the bronzer, would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. Rating out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, my legs are going pretty goddamn numb. Okay, then we've got this. This is from Makeup Obsession. This is the Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. And this is in the shade number two. I love this concealer. Actually, some people don't like it. They don't think it's enough coverage. I really liked this. I also liked the thick um, dry for applicator. It's very big. Can you see that? That's actually like the size of my eyeball. I really liked this. This is like the third bottle that I had repurchased or something. I don't currently use this one. I use one from the collection that's really, really full coverage. But I think this is a good one. It's like seven pounds. It's great, it lasts a long time, and it blends out really nicely. It's just like medium coverage for a concealer, I would say. Rating out of 10, I'll give it an 8.5. Will I repurchase? Probably. We have another candle. So this is the, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm actually gonna keep this. This is the Yankee Candle All Is Bright candle. And this smells so good. This is like a really refreshing scent. Actually, I won't keep it. Why would I keep it? That's just a bit pointless. I can always buy another one because it's only a little one. Some candles, because I burn them, for example, I've got a candle back there. It's not this one, it's a different one. And I burn it throughout Christmas. And if I smell it now, it reminds me of that Christmas that I've just had. So I don't, so I tend to keep candles like that because then it takes you back. There is this actual um, body spray that I took with me to New Zealand when I was 12 years old. And every time I smell it, I literally get transported back to there. Like I actually imagine that I'm there. Like it's so weird. I will never have that feeling of being actually there unless I smell that scent and I feel like I'm there and I can remember things more. It's so weird and I love it. But yeah, I, I don't smell that scent very often because I don't want to kind of smell it too much and it not remind me of New Zealand anymore. But do you know what I mean? Like those smells that transport you back. Um, but yeah, this is a nice candle um, and it smelled really nice. Yankee candles were always really nice. Again, burn all the way down to the bottom and I liked it. Um, so I would rate this a nine out of 10 and would I repurchase this? Probably go for a cheaper one because if you're talking like, this is probably like, I don't know, eight pounds, whereas this one's like 50p. I think I'll get the 50p one, thanks. Okay, we have this product from Mud Maskey. I've actually got a product from them currently that I'm using up, which is a, overnight moisturizer or an overnight moisturizing mask or something um but i think i got this in a glossy box but this is an after mask vitamin serum so after you use a face mask you are meant to use this to soften your skin especially when you're using clay face masks they can be drying on the skin i love clay face masks i sell my own on my etsy and ebay linked in the description but i sell them but i love clay face masks i always have done it they're great for oily skin they're great for any skin type but specifically oily skin and they're great for kind of clearing your skin and just removing impurities but because they are more harsh it is nice to go in with something quite moisturizing afterwards i would recommend just a moisturizer but apparently they've got a product specifically for after a face mask it did leave my skin feeling nice and soft but do i need this no you know did it make a difference to my skin not really um it felt nice and soft but apart from that but yeah what would i rate this out of 10 probably a six out of 10 would i purchase this again even that came in my glossy box no we then have this powder. Wow, this was a long time since I used this. This was actually a year ago. Um, this is the, I think it's from the collection. Everything's rubbed off, um, but it, I think it's from the collection, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. The collection, um, Sheer Loose Powder in the shade number two, Translucent. I used to love um, loose powders like this to set my makeup because you could get a lot of powder on and you could really pack it on your skin. But I soon realized that actually having a little bit of glow to your skin is no bad thing and actually a lot of people like their skin to be really glowy i do now i love it i love to have glowy skin but this just made my skin kind of cakey and because so much product was going on the skin it you could see it and it was really cakey and it's not as finely milled as other more expensive powders so i think if you're going to go for a pressed powder uh, sorry if you're going to go for a loose powder you might need to get more of it a slightly expensive one um just so that it's more finely milled so that it doesn't look cakey on your face um rating out of 10 probably a four out of 10 would i repurchase this no 
And then last product in this empties video is this Essence Fixing Spray and it says it's gym proof um this is i personally don't think you should wear makeup in the gym anyway um because it's not good for your skin but um or when you're working out not just in the gym um but whatever like whatever they want to say on the packaging just to get it to be sold i cannot remember using this product i can't remember owning this product i think it must have come in a glossy box i can't give you a review on this because i can't re i think i remember it now i think when i sprayed this it came out yeah that's a terrible spray look at that like you probably oops you probably cannot see that but it comes out in little bits so when you spray it onto your face it's not a fine mist it's like little splodges everywhere that is not good that is not what we want in a setting spray this rating out of 10 i will give it a three because at least it's got some product in it you know and it's it would be okay if the little spray thing at the top was better but no it's not and will i repurchase no so that is everything for this video and it's everything for my empty products i will film another video probably next month of my empties of more makeup based products i've got quite a lot of empty makeup products from last year so that will be included in next month's video um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got to see a little review of like true review of the products that i've used up so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on my channel i will see you on friday at 9 a.m for a new video I think it's going to be a sort of new body shop products over the past few months kind of video so stay tuned for that and I will see you then goodbye